Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this beautiful rolling banner infographic animation using PowerPoint. So, let's get started. As usual, let's first go to view tab and enable the guides. Next right click on the slide. Choose format background and then apply dark shade color to the slide background. Next go to insert tab and then choose icons. Search for grocery PNG icon. Let's select this grocery bag icon and then insert it. Change its fill color to white just for better visibility and then increase its size. Let's convert this PNG icon into a shape and then delete unnecessary small shapes as shown. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape over this PNG icon shape. Just make sure to cover the zigzag pattern as shown then select both shapes and finally intersect them together. Let's rotate this shape upside down and now you will come to know the use of this shape. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape. Now bring this zigzag shape to front and then place it on the top edge of this rectangle as shown. Let's zoom in a bit and adjust the shape at proper position. Next let's duplicate this shape several times and align them to cover the entire top edge. Now drag and select all these shapes and union them together. Next select this rectangle shape and top zigzag shape and then subtract them together. Let's remove its outline and change the fill color to white. Next duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D. Rotate it upside down. Align it as shown. And then union both shapes together. Let's adjust its size and drag it to upper half portion of this slide. Now with this shape selected, go to shape fill option and change its fill color using eyedropper tool. Let's align this shape centrally along the vertical guide. Then go to insert tab and draw a cylinder shape. Adjust its size using yellow color edit point and then align it to left edge of this rectangle shape. Make sure it is centrally aligned along the horizontal axis of this rectangle shape. Looks perfect. Next let's remove its outline and then format it with linear gradient fill. Change the gradient direction to vertical. Make it a 3 step gradient and adjust the stop positions. And then finally change their fill colors using eyedropper tool as shown. Basically one stop color will be of lighter shade. Next go to shape outline option, apply dark color outline and set its width to one point. Now duplicate this shape, align it to right side edge as shown and then set its gradient to opposite direction. Now next steps are a bit important. Go to insert tab and draw a rectangle over this cylinder shape. Adjust its height, remove the outline, match its fill color with slide background and then finally send it to back. Create a duplicate of this rectangle shape, align it to cylinder shape on the right and then send it to back. Next, group each of this rectangle and its cylindrical shape together and these will be our masking elements during rolling animation. Now select all these three shapes and align them to top of this slide. Next duplicate these shapes three times using Ctrl plus D and align them one below the other. If any of these shapes cross the slide boundaries, then just drag and select all these shapes 
and then try to fit them within the slide. Else, we can also group all shapes together and then reduce their size by dragging the corner points as shown. Then, finally ungroup all the shapes. Next, let's quickly change the colors for all the shapes using eyedropper tool, but make sure to maintain the same gradient pattern. Finally add all the PNG icons and text fields on this design. Let me speed up to save time. Next, before we animate these shapes, it's important to bring each masking shapes above all its respective elements like text and PNG icons. So let's start from bottom shapes and bring each masking shapes to front. Now using these masking shapes, let's cover each text and PNG icons as shown. Looks perfect so far. Let's delete these color palettes. And now, let's drag and select these group of shapes and align them in a pattern as shown. I am just aligning these shapes to left and right side of the vertical axis. Once done, let's also add the title text to this slide and change its font color to white. Now, here is the next important step. Select the first slide and then duplicate it. Now on second slide, move back the masking elements to their original positions for first group of shapes. Next duplicate the second slide and on third slide, move back the masking elements to their original positions for second group of shapes. Follow the same steps for third and fourth group of shapes. Finally delete the last slide and then select remaining 5 slides. Go to transitions menu and apply morph transition. Reduce the transition duration to 1 second and we are all set. So here is the final preview of this beautiful rolling banner animation. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.